Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hello everyone, I'm Monica Karaguti, lead for the DevOps team at Miracle Software Systems. Today, I'm here to show you how to automate your delivery pipeline from GitHub to Amazon EC2 using Jenkins. For that, let me just first walk you through our today's agenda. I will be giving you a sample introduction about AWS and GitHub, different AWS developer tools, an overview on Jenkins, and then let us see the architectural representation of our delivery pipeline followed by a live demo. Jumping on, AWS is a secure cloud platform which offers compute, storage, content delivery, and different other functionalities to help your business scale and grow faster like ever before. We have different services offered by AWS like more than 60 services and but today we are going to focus only more on the compute and de developer tools which we have used in our demo. Compute, AWS EC2 which is nothing but Elastic Compute Cloud which is a web service provides resizable computing capacity which means you can size your uh, instances according to your requirement uh, both up and down. It provides us with different services like auto scaling where you can scale your instances, load balancing where you can balance your traffic, you can define your inbound and outbound traffic rules as well using EC2. Moving on, if you want to run your uh, Docker containers on a public cloud environment like Amazon, ECS which is nothing but EC2 container service provides you the flexibility to run your Docker containers here. Lambda. Lambda is a serverless compute service that runs your code in response to the events and automatically manages the underlying compute services for you or on your behalf. Moving on, Elastic Beanstack, which is one of the compute services, orchestration service offered from AWS for deploying infrastructure which orchestrates various AWS services like EC2, S3, etc. Moving on to the developer tools, we have different developer tools supported by AWS, a code deploy, code commit, code build, and code pipeline as well. So we will be discussing in detail about the developer tools in our next coming slides. Let me just hop on to GitHub. From open source to business, you can host and review code, manage projects, and build software alongside millions of other developers using Git, which is basically a development platform. You can create different public and private repositories, you can clone one's repositories as well. You can also modify and commit the changes directly from your local machine. Also, we have a concept called branches where you can create number of branches excluding the master and commit the code into a particular branch as well. Also, by forking, you can take one's repositories directly into your uh, GitHub organization making it easy for you to work with other repositories as well. Moving on, let us discuss about what exactly the AWS developer tools are. AWS developer tools are nothing but a set of services designed to enable different developers and IT operational professionals practicing DevOps to rapidly and safely deliver their software. So today basically we are going to discuss on uh, AWS Code Deploy and AWS Code Commit as well. So AWS Code Deploy is the service which we are using in our today's demo which is used to fetch a code from Git and deploy it onto your EC2 instances. Now, it, only, it not only could be uh, e GitHub, you can also, it can also fetch the code from Amazon S3 or Bitbucket repositories as well, anything of your choice. Moving on to AWS Code Commit, AWS Code Commit can store anything from code to binaries as it supports the standard functionality of Git and works seamlessly with your existing Git-based tools as well. So with that being said, let us move on with what Jenkins exactly is and how is it useful and how we are going to use it in our today's demo. We can build, deploy and automate any of your projects using Jenkins as it supports hundreds of plugins. You can just uh, uh, add your plugin whatever you want. It might be either Git, it can be either AWS plugin and you can seamlessly deploy your application. So if you can see on my screen, we are trying to uh, pull the code from Git onto Jenkins. So the Jenkins does this automatically. Then we will be configuring a job, execution of the job. A Jenkins will basically deploy your application onto your configured system. In my case, it's just a VM. So in this process, Jenkins also creates a workspace in the local system, 
but uh, for example uh, i have my jenkins uh, installed on my local system so it creates a workspace in the local system itself so if we move on so this is the delivery pipeline architecture today we are going to uh, showcase you in the demo as well i have pushed my code into github the jenkins is pulling the code from github or uh, jenkins which is there on on my local machine on premise it will push the executed code it will zip and it will push on to amazon s3 which is aws storage service from there the code deploy will pull uh, the code from the zipped code basically from aws s3 and it will deploy directly onto ec2 instances so whenever the ec2 instance state changes either from a uh, healthy to critical it will automatically trigger a notification to the user using the sns service which is nothing but simple notification service provided by aws So with that being said let us quickly jump on to a live demo. So this is how my AWS dashboard looks like. First we are going to create two IAM roles and their corresponding policies in order to make our services communicate internally. For example today we are going to use uh, EC2 and S3 and we need to make them uh, communicate uh, with each other internally. So I have already created some roles. So let me just show you that So if you can see, I have code deploy EC2 and code deploy S3 as well. Also, as a next step for the demo, we will be creating an EC2 instance. Uh, here, I'm taking just a TU dot micro, which comes under my free tier, and I'm taking Amazon Linux because it comes with a pre-built AWS CLI. Let me show you my instance as well. So you can see my EC2 deployment instance is running. So let me just get connected to this. I'm copying my public IP. opening my terminal i'll get connected to this using my putty private key nothing but a ppk file i'm browsing it so this one i've created while creating the instance itself yes when i click on open yes i have successfully got uh, connected to my uh, particular vm and since i've used amazon linux the login id for this is ec2 hyphen user in aws so let me just quickly sudo and now i'll be navigating to my ec2 hyphen user path in order to configure my aws credentials so i'm copying and pasting it yes now i'll give aws configure It lasts for my secret access key ID, which you can find it in your AWS console in the root credentials section. Copying it, I just pasting it. Hit on enter. It lasts for your secret key. This is also similar. You'll find it in the root credentials as well on your dashboard. So region in which region you want to deploy your application. So I want it in my N Virginia region, which is US East one. So output format, I leave it as default. Yes, so I have successfully configured my credentials. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download my uh, AWS Code Deploy agent from S3. Yes, hit on enter. So now it got downloaded. What I'll do is I'll change the permissions by giving ch mod. and now this command is uh, nothing but this is just a quick hack uh, to run your agent uh, fast so let me get this as well i'm going to run my file yes so if you can see uh, i am successful in installing my agent so let me just check if this is running or not by giving the following command Servers code deploy agent status. So yes, you can see that my code deploy agent is running. Successful in installing the agent. What I'll do is I'll get back to my services dashboard. Click on code deploy in order, in order to start uh, configuring the code deploy. For that, uh, click on get started now on the code deploy uh, dashboard. I'm going to select the custom deployment and click on skip walkthrough. So what I'll do is I'll give a application name and deployment group name, anything of your choice. So I'm giving it as a delivery pipeline deployment group name. Let me give it as code deploy 
group and if you scroll down you will have two options of either selecting an auto scaling group or the amazon ec2 instances onto which you want to deploy your application so right now i'm not having any auto scaling group i'm having my ec2 instance so let me just go ahead and click it so click on the key and the value nothing but the instance name ec2 deployments is my instance name when you scroll it down you will find the deployment configurations where code deploy provides you with deploying one instance at a time or you can deploy onto any number of instances all at a time or even half at a time as well for now since i have only one i'm selecting one at a time and select my service role arn which is nothing but which the roles which i have configured in the beginning of the demo uh, so now in order to communicate code deploy with ec2 internally i'm selecting my code deploy ec2 role and click on create application so yes once when you uh, click on that you will see a message with congratulations the application delivery pipeline has been created so now since the application is created let us create a deployment now for that select on the application click on actions and click on deploy new revision this the deployment dashboard you can see the application deployment group name got already selected because i only have one if you have many you can go ahead and select it manually as well so i'm having my code in my github i'm selecting my application is stored in github since my github is already authenticated with my aws dashboard i'm just going to go ahead and select one and click on connect to github so it'll ask me for my repository name and commit id which uh, you can find it easily on your github dashboard so i'm having them right here just copying and pasting my repository name as well as the commit id as well yes so uh, i'm going to select overwrite the content if the file in the application revision is copied to the target location on the instance replacing uh, i'm just uh, it is nothing but i'm just going to uh, replace the previous file once when any overwriting is going to happen so now i'm going to click on deploy Yes, so if you can see it is right now in the cre in the created state let me just refresh and check it has not changed its status into in progress it will just take couple of minutes in order to come into the successful state you can see my deployment got succeeded now let us just go back to my ec2 dashboard where my vm is there and check whether the application got deployed successfully onto it or not so i am just going to copy the public ip of that particular instance and give it in the browser to check uh, whether the application is running or not i am just copying my public ip and giving it in the browser so what i am trying to do so i am just trying to hit uh, www.miraclesoft.com yes you can see uh, here is here is our landing page so we have successfully deployed uh, our application using code deploy So now that we are uh, successful in deploying it from GitHub, now I'm trying to do my continuous integration and deployment through Jenkins. For that, I'm opening my Jenkins dashboard. I already have a job configured, so if you can see it on my dashboard, I have given a project name um, code deploy. I have given my Git uh, repository URL, and if you scroll down, I have added a post build action where it is specified to deploy an application onto the AWS code deploy. so i i'm just going to give my code deploy application name which is nothing but the delivery pipeline and the deployment group which is code deploy group and also the deployment configurations one at a time a region us east one and the s3 bucket name as well so basically what it does is it will fetch the code from git it will zip and put it in aws s3 and from there the code deploy will pull it and will deploy onto our instance so once if i scroll in uh, you should be able to see the access key and key id which i'm configuring here in order for our jenkins to get communicated with uh, amazon i'm going to click on apply and save all the changes which we have made now what i'm going to do is i'm going to build this job and see whether it will uh, get successfully deployed or not So yes it is successful let me just go back to the console output and show you the success message so if you can see it has finished with success message now i'm going to get back to my code deploy uh, dashboard 
to check whether the particular deployment got started or not over here. So yes, I'm going to click on the application and you can see that uh, this got succeeded. This deployment as well got succeeded which I have deployed just now. So I'm going to navigate back to my EC2 dashboard and see that, th that this particular deployment got deployed onto my VM or not. So what I have done is I have just modified my code in order to hit the Amazon page rather than the Microsoft page which I was doing it before. So let me just uh, copy my public URL or the public IP and give it in the URL bar. Yes, so if you can see, we are we are getting the Amazon landing page where we were getting a miracle landing page before. So that's it. This is how you automate your delivery pipeline from GitHub onto EC2 using Jenkins. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.